welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is The Room. Not the, uh, the admittedly unintentionally funny, but completely terrible movie. Nah, this is a puzzle game. Presumably about being in a room. I don't know much about it. It was cheap, and I couldn't think of what else to play, so I sort of impulse bought it. Looks fun, though. So, I think it's just one of those sort of escape the room type puzzles. So, okay. Oh, click and drag the mouse to look around. So it's a mousey driven game. Um, this isn't a room game, okay, this is a box. So, do I, can I explore the rest of the room or? No. Okay, so I think my objective is just box until I win. Is that there? Okay, so I can't click and drag. Oh, double click on the envelope on the top to take the focus on it. Okay. If I'd been reading the tutorial, maybe this would have been easier. Find the letter out of the envelope. Click to continue. You came. I knew your curiosity would get better. I'm going to give this person a silly voice. Mr. A.S. You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one passing favour. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. Stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. A.S. So, Cthulhu. You put Cthulhu in a box. Cool. Give me that. I've skipped the key to collect. Yeah. Small brass key with an animal motif. I don't know what animal that is. A stag? Centaur? Who knows? Okay, rotate the lid. Slam the keyhole. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, and drag the key into the keyhole. Okay. Open lid. Get the eyepiece. Make sure we found a curious eyepiece. So, what does it. Okay. I may have. I think I've clicked past a. Oh, without a lens, is it all in the eyepiece? Okay. Okay. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me a drink and I shall die. Okay. Fire. Do you want to burn it? I keep clicking and accidentally skipping the uh, the text. Is there a... Nope. That wasn't it. No, I want to cancel... No, I want to... Oh. <laughs> I meant to quit the options, not quit the game. Okay. Right click to zoom out. You find the answer somewhere on the safe. Can I... Will you give me that bit of whatever it was you said again? No? Okay. Okay, dokie. So, somewhere on the safe is the answer. The answer being fire. What does it say? Bespoke safes for the gentry. Guildford, England. World round talisman. Guaranteed thief and fireproof. Okay, so I've got a screw there. I can... Oh. Go and screw it at some point. Okay, what are we looking for? We're looking for something in the realm of fire. These are books. Yeah, they are, but what about these things? Can I not get these things out of them? Okay, I don't appear to be able to do much here. Okay. Right, so there's an indentation here. Can't do much yet. Okay. So my eyepiece doesn't have a lens. Another keyhole there. Uh, so wearing that ain't gonna do much for me. As far as I can tell. Oh, hang on. What's down here? 
we've got, uh, I think there are, can we, symbols on the back? Fire, here we go. I think I was saying I can push it. Yeah. So I have a peculiar old key found behind a fire symbol. Damn it! I keep clicking past the, uh, past these things here. It'd be nice if it gave me the option to, like, look through what I, my character had said in previous times. Okay. So I've got a key. Can I, uh, I want to look at the key. No, I can't do anything. I can just spin that. Okay. Well, let's start with this one. Oh, okay, so I can see it from this angle. Okay, so I've got two options. So the one that kind of looks like a stick man's head with a crown on it, and one that just looks a bit like a box. So I'm going to assume I want the stick man's head. Oh, it actually gave me a better view. Didn't it? Okay, so I've got swirly and crown. That's going to be worth knowing. That is swirly. So if I've switched to swirly. And ram it up in the keyhole. Do the thing. It gave me metal plate. Uses a wrench. Okay, so that gets me out the um, in the back. I switch that to the other one. Now, I think there might be something wrong with my mouse. It doesn't seem to be responding to right clicks very well. Not in terms of this game. I mean, in general, I may have to invest in a new one. So this gives me. This gives me. Not a lot. Right, so it's a rotation puzzle, but I need to have an overlay of some description to figure that out. Right, so we've got a screwdriver, or wrench, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and do the thing. There we go. And that gave me my eyepiece. So does that mean my eyepiece is working? Oh, holy crap, everything's made of Satanism. So I've got four. I'm not sure to know what some of these things. Got squiggly line. Well, there's a puzzle. Um, man, there's even Satanism. I say Satanism ruins, whatever you want to call them, in the background over by that window over here. Interesting. Okay, I guess we have to do this puzzle now. So how do I make it spin? Oh, okay, I have to move around the middle bit. Oh, kokey. Nice and straight forward. That's its lock into place in the uh, final bit, so I don't need to match up. Two. No, no, no. There we go. Hmm. That's not right. That's not right at all. There we are. <laughs> Bugger that a boom. So... Oh, I opened a door. And now I have more boxes. Let's take a closer look. Right. Uh, what? Oh, chapter complete. Okay. Thought I was going to read the whole bloody game for a minute then. No, just chapter one. Oh, okay. That didn't take long. That's, uh... Oh, I've lost all my items. Okay, I guess I've used all the items. These three seals stand between me and the contents of this box. Keyhole, uh, cog, and eye. Okay. Right, so... Can I... Or look at anything else. So that's... Okay, I piece doesn't do anything. This is... Number puzzle, okay. That gives me the cogwheel. Or star. Oh, no, there's the cogwheel. That just gives me a star piece. So this is going to need something to go into there. Yeah, I've got that loom out again. We've got more symbols here. And more. This is just seems to be a lot of number based stuff. Is there anything on the top I need to work in? I'm looking at it um, without the lens first. See what I can find. Okay, something's here. 
So we've got a star indentation. Okay, so if I find something that's shaped like a star, put it in there and something will happen. Right. Let's look at this through the eye of Satanism. Okay, so we've got three dots here. Oh, ah, a book. Okay, so we've got a book. Well, oh, and we've got. No, not that. It's about. So inside here, there's a symbol. You see? So it's saying that that top right symbol is squarely. squarely with a cross on top. Okay, which I'm assuming is related to these pieces here. Let's get rid of the eyepiece so we can see what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. Quickly with a cross. Okay. What's in the book? Oh, that's one of these puzzles. Spin that around there. Spin that around there. So I can spin that around there and open the book with many secrets. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace with these bub. Barrack instruments, I can barely read anything at all. But there is something here. Between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which it cast it. It is the final element, null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the... What was that what was it? Numbers? Oh, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold, it is the pursuit of this! I'm guessing that's his symbol again. Yeah? Right, take the key! Right, so we've got a windy clocky doodah. Okay, but don't need the book anymore apparently. Uh, where did it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I'm assuming the windy key goes here. Yep, goes there. Does not go there. Okay. Um, right, so where does the windy key go? This one? No, I think that's I don't think that's a keyhole, I think that's just a symbol. Okay, so if I find a a word to go here. I uh, can't see the, what the puzzle I need to do to that bit is yet. So that needs numbers, that needs a thing, that needs a code. Oh, hang on. Another bit of the code here. So crown with double crosses on it. Uh, what's. Uh, no, no. Crown with double crosses on. Neat. I guess I seem to be pay more attention to uh, for things such as that. Okay, can't see anything. Yeah, let's put the eyepiece back on. Oh, hello. What in the name of buggery is this? Seven five. Okay, so two on top, seven on the side. Five on the other side and six on the bottom. Two, seven, five, six. Okay. Do, 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 do. Where'd it go? Right there. So that needs to be two. You were a seven. I have gone past the seven because I am a moron. Two seven, you were a five, and you six. Yes, victory for the Dark Lord. What is it? That was a switch. Okay, let's open this thing. Um, all right. Oh, a note. Gimme. My research continues. We've read this. What? You have to. You gave me this already, it was in the book. One, it says one of seven, is that more? Okay. 
Oh, hang on, was there a thing in the corner? Back. Okay. Um, not sure what that's about. And do the hook. Winding mechanism, yeah, yeah. Oh, was that just saying that was just connecting the uh, paragraph I read before to that key, maybe? That would be a bit weird. What is this, a zoetrope? What do I need to do? Ignite! Nice, damn you. So I need to put something in? Uh, okay. Smells of burning. Okay, so I need to... Zoom out again. I need, so I need to put this thing on? No. So I need to light a fire down there. But I can't at the moment. Like this. Did I just not do this enough? No, that's not doing much. Can I look underneath it? Uh, no. So I'm sort of zooming in and out a lot. So I'm actually trying to look in different places to see if there's uh, something I'm missing. Oh, here's a thing. No, how do I get into this then? Can I do something here? No. Right, I'm guessing when this is all going, I do something to that that opens the door? Maybe? I don't know. I so, said, I, uh,. I think I'm missing a trick there. Put the eyepiece back on, see if there's any anything else anywhere I've not seen. Hmm. Yeah, we've seen oh hang on, there's another thing down here. Let me zoom in on this. So that's lizard thing. Lizard man. Lizard man. That looks like a lizard man. So it would be quite possible to brute force the final solution. Um, so I found three of the... Um, what's the word? Three three pieces of the code. If I only got one to search through, it would be quite possible just to cycle through all the possible options. I'd prefer not to do that if it could be avoided on account of as I've... Uh, said in another video somewhere, I'm not fond of brute force as a problem solving uh, solution, but it can be quite effective in times like this. But I'm not finding the last piece of uh, puzzle, so maybe you are supposed to just brute force that last one. Which means there's only one, um, one simple thing to, to check, it's not the end of the world. Oh, let's give it a shot. No, 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 no. There we go. Heavy cast iron key. Okay. Can I have a key? Okay, I haven't actually seen a lock anywhere. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's this thing, but I don't actually think this is a key hole, but we'll check anyway. Key. No, it's just a lock symbol. Hmm. That's it goes in. I'm guessing that these three things here aren't actually, uh... Again, no, they're just symbols rather than, uh... So this is basically saying that once I've completed the eye or whatever this piece is, it'll unlock the eye bit down there. Hmm. Look at this note again, because I'm surprised that it's, that's all it's given me. Nope, nothing to see here. Can I take this key back or do anything else with it? No. Nope, magic eye of magic doesn't help either. Let's see. 
It's possible I am just being stupid with this and I do need to... Nice, you'd have thought that would have done something. That seems to be all I can do in this area. Everything else I'm uh, attempting to interact with is just causing everything to rotate around me instead. Let's see. So that was just a switch. That needs a doodah. I don't need to do anything at the moment. Oh, I haven't found the star indentation. I haven't found the big old keyhole. Magic guy of magic is doing nothing. Hmm. We are reaching something of an impasse here, viewers. We have magic guy of magic. Zoom back in on this thing. Okay, no, <laughs> I didn't expect that to do anything. Then, let's see. Right, so I'm going to have to put two lenses here, I think. So I, I don't think there's anything else I can actually do with this puzzle as it is at the moment. So, what do I need to do? Oh, hang on, I've had a thought. What if I'm meant to use this note? No, I was going to say with the magic eye of magic, but... Uh... What if the secret word is null? I'm sorry, I'm... Um... So, I mean, let me try and explain my thinking there. It occurs to me I've just made a bit of a logical leap. So... Here we've got four letters. Now, yeah, so it can't be null because there isn't a. Uh, there. So it suddenly occurred to me that I'm going to need a word from somewhere, and it's a case of is there any way of identifying the word from that note? But uh, I was seeing what keyword that. Uh, That note may have brought forth. So, some a lot of alchemy and, and uh, alchemical stuff at the moment. I'm not seeing any. Not, can't think of any words that these would have uh, brought up, so keep thinking. Hmm. Is it just me, or is there a heartbeat sound in the background? I've only just noticed that, because I've been talking. And obviously I keep the uh, volume of both of these things relatively low, so that uh, it doesn't interrupt. Uh, so I can, I can talk over them without having to shout. But, uh... Oh, sound's gone now, whatever it was. It... Hmm. Yeah, sorry, I thought the... Uh, Sound might only appear if I was looking at it from certain angles, which would be a bit curious, but not the strangest thing this game would have done. No, can't take the thing to the top. Oh, there's that uh, <laughs> final piece that I couldn't find earlier that I just brute forced. Oops. Hmm. Put my eyepiece back on. So it's easy to see the uh, the big changes. So as I'm going around here, all of a sudden to go, oh look, there's a big change compared to when it's not on. But uh, I was wondering if there were any smaller changes that I hadn't noticed. No. We're almost reaching the uh, amount of time I set aside for these recordings as well. I don't want to end on me just spinning this box around like a moron. Whee. Can I zoom out? No. I was wondering if I... Uh, I was focusing on the box, and actually there was a puzzle piece on the table I hadn't looked at. Oh, hang on. What's this thing? Okay, here are our lenses. Really, game? You couldn't just make me press this to once and uh, be done with it. I have a miniature telescope now. Okay, is there any other, anything else like that I've not seen? There is. Nope, that's not doing anything. 
So, there's our miniature telescope. With, oh, arrows on it. There's an arrow there. An arrow there. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay, let's zoom out. Put this here. Oh. Okay, so there's another arrow there. Can I do anything with the arrow? No. Can I look through the lens? Right, can't look through the lens yet because I haven't lit the doodah. These arrows still don't seem to be. Oh! I guess I'm going to have to adjust the arrows later. So why can't I get this thing lit? What's not the burn? No, so it wasn't just waiting for the... So, can I... Nope, can't unlock anything in this... here. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, hello, here we go. I knew there was something else. There we are. So we've got a bit of paraffin. Yes, I've got them. paraffin in there. Light it. Okay, that did what? Do I need to slide this up now? Ah, this popped out. So up. Up and down. Okay, so that's lit up behind there. Does that mean it's working now? Ah, yes, this is, it's doing something. Oh, a man with no face. Okay, now we look through the eyepiece. Trial. T R I A L. Yeah, I, I got that, buddy. You don't need to point at it. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, and this opened. Another spinny magic. No. Spin, spin, spin. There's a middle, no, middle bit. Oh, <laughs> I lined it up. I was looking for <laughs> the lineup I'd already found. And, uh, and finally, there. Oh, no, not quite. It's, it's lined up. Oh, Jesus wept. No, it wasn't. It lied to me. It lied to me. Now I need to line up. What do you mean is Satanism? I was joking! There we go. Ah, there's the L. I was wondering because the um, the clue trial, obviously referring to this here, but there's only four letters because you need to put the L at the end. So, T R A I L. That's trail. <sighs> Sorry, viewers. I will play my dyslexic card on that one. Oh, hey, it's eating my box. It stole the hourglass. I need the other eye. the telescope. I needed that. Okay, one seal. Okay. You know what? Let's just keep going. Make this a longer episode than usual. Yeah, get the key in the lock. Get the key, put it in the lock. Is it the wrong key? Doesn't look like it should, should be. Nothing I'm missing, is it? No? Okay. Oh, that's not going to fit in there. Right. Oh, another bit of paper. McAllister returns with the rubbing from Egypt. The pattern continues. 
The Tibetans call the null element space. To the Hindus, it is ether. And now, to the Babylonians, it is simply up. The other direction. The realm of Ishtar. Of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glyph. So that's, that's this thing. The same symbol repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries and the span of the globe. Who will tell me now that this is the idle superstition at work? And my hands hold the first distilled sample. They will recognize me then. Presently the skeptics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. Okay. Neat. Oh. Five, two. Not helpful. Oh. There's me trying to use my key. Key goes here. The hole isn't tall enough. Okay. The hole isn't tall enough. That's a strange one. What about this thing over here? Show me this. Uh, let me in. What do I, what do, I do? These aren't. These look like buttons, but they're not buttons. That's not a thing. Eh. I want to, it's not a knocker. It's not a. Can't pull it. Okay. Oh, here we go. What does it say? Yeah, leave it alone. There's a safe dial, but there's a piece missing. One, two. That's saying two. Like a downward facing key. That's a 5 next to an F like thing. Okay, so the key up is 5, the key down is 2. Okay, how does that help? I've already established that I can't do much here. So I need a key I don't have. Let me zoom out. Jesus, perhaps. Guessing I can't do much with this now. I'm thinking I'm going to do something and these handles are going to open and that'll then allow me to open this drawer. That's my guess. So the only thing I seem to have is this. But I can't do much with it. I've got a key that won't fit because it isn't tall enough. And I lack any means to make it either this shorter or the whole taller. Hmm. That's not helping. So what do I need to do with those numbers? So I have two numbers, but I can't do anything with them. Got a safe dial with a missing piece. I can't do anything with these until I've got that missing piece, it would seem. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Zoom out. I sound badger. This is one of those things where I've missed another uh, opening bit. No. Wait, hang on. I've unlocked the seal of the eye, and yet the eye is still here. There, I hit it with the key. Open. No. I can't see anything with the magic eye of magic. So all, yeah, all I seem to have to go on is the key up is five and the key down is two. I'm calling that a key simply for convenience sake. I don't think it actually is a key. I think that's part of the solution to this, maybe? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Is there a box under that? No. So now the key doesn't fit in there at all. It doesn't even give me any flavour text saying that's wrong, you're a dumb dumb. We're uh, reaching a bit of an impasse again, game. Let's see. I haven't found any star piece to put in that top bit. 
Can't do anything. I can't even zoom in on this square there. That requires a mechanism I currently don't possess. This was a code that was inside itself. This hasn't done anything, but I can't do anything because of this symbol not doing well. I assumed that I would open this as. Oh no, that was the um, the bit the part of the puzzle I've already done. That's closed back up. That's why I can't go in there. Okay. So whatever I have to do has to be based entirely upon the information I have here. And this is just a hexagonal symbol, but that's just, that's story. There's no information there. Yeah, we've got that on further. These things still look like buttons, but they don't actually do anything. Wait, unless... do I just pull, click these open? No, I can't. Right. Did I look at this through the magic eye piece of magic? I can't even... I thought, it looks a bit like a, a door knocker, but I can't seem to do anything with that either. No. Very rapidly running out of ideas. By which I mean I ran out of ideas a little while ago and been trying to hide it very unsuccessfully. Hmm. And I don't like finishing a uh, finishing an episode with a puzzle that I've not completed. I suppose I could just leave it as a cliffhanger for the next episode. I wasn't planning on making a multiple episode out of this, but this is quite intriguing. So, I think I just might Let's put this back on. There's no clues in the background of this. Now, hang on. Last time we looked through this Eye of Magic, there was a lot of symbols written around the window. Why are symbols gone? There we so, all I've left is a star indentation. This is the only thing I haven't done so far. This top bit doesn't move? No. I'll just double check there's not a uh, area I could have zoomed in on, but haven't. That's the indicator that there's a puzzle area there. Oh! No, I just zoomed in on this thing again. Damn it! That was me thinking I'd stumble across a secret panel I haven't touched. No. One last look through the eye of many colours. Yeah, two and five. That seems to be the only new information I've got, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. So I would have assumed that it would have something to do with this, maybe? But this, no, without this missing piece, I can't do anything. Not this somehow, is it? No. Right, so the only thing I have is this to work with. Can't move it or drag it. The shape of the hole isn't. Nothing through the magic eye. Right, my money is on. Solving this puzzle will open that. Solving that puzzle will open the other bit on the other side of the key um, turn dial bit and that will then open the front bit Is there anything I can do with this no, it's not looking like it man it's really awkward to turn these things Hmm. Can't click and drag anything, can't pull anything, can't do nothing. Hmm. 
wonder if there's one of those things where this question mark up in the corner is going to be this, the uh, required key. What's on the top? Oh, hello! Something on the top I haven't interacted with yet. There was a button that moved. Okay. Oh! Those eye things change direction based on how I'm looking at them. Interesting. I need to find the perfect angle to get all of them looking up, presumably, but they turn in different places. Oh, red's up. Oh, once they're in place, they stay in place. Okay, that's useful. Blue's in place. Some yellow there. Yellow. Green. Okay. Oh, well, there's my hexagonal symbol. Put on my magic eye. Now I need to line it up to find that hexagonal symbol, presumably. There we go. Oh. That then slid out. Keep. Oh, there we are. That's the thing, once you find the uh, <laughs> the right place to look, everything goes together. So I found a tiny cabinet key. Nice. The only place we've seen the key can go is this. In goes thing. Spin, spin, spin. Get some star piece. Neat. We've seen the star. Oh, that gives me an even more complicated key. Zoom out. Oh, we are zoomed out. <laughs> Sorry. Star goes in the thing. Oh, oh, that's opened all sorts of things up. June twenty-first. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. The null element is beyond curious being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in his study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. Good for you. Hey, tonight. Night to the round table. Oh, there's lots of knights. Well, there's the uh, missing piece. We've got a key. Give me the key. Okay. I've got a spinny thing. Okay, so this knight's... Oh, that knight's got a mace. That knight's got an axe. Yeah, yeah, we Go. Be gone. This knight doesn't have anything. That knight has a sword. Okay. I imagine that's going to be necessary information later. But for now, let's get that on me. Here. One, two... Okay. No. One, two, three, so we go that way, this way again. There we go, and no matter which way I take it to get this one. No, we didn't. Cool. Right. Okay, so it was zero, one, two, and five. They were from the two things over there, but I don't know which round they were supposed to go, so I guess. Oh, I bet I could have figured it out from... Um, so if I put this back on, I'm guessing this was saying, oh, on the right-hand side it's five, on the left-hand side it's two. And I just didn't figure that out until after uh, <laughs> putting the numbers in. But there are only two ways around it. Two, way round. two ways round they could have got. Oh, it's another one of these, is it? That was worth looking at it from the right flipping direction. Turn top. No. No. Uh, where are you? Why would it fit? Fit, damn you! It's weird. Why don't that, uh, doesn't line up? 
Okay, there's the bottom of this. There's, oh, okay, it's a rough line. I was trying to get it more exact. Okay, so you've got to look at it in just the right way to get that to work. Okay, that's not faffing around at all. Get in there. You know, that gave me a circular plate with a star emblem. And uh, this is all going to bugger off. It's not all going to bugger off. There's more to this puzzle. Okay, so... Oh, so the only place this can go is here. Go in there. Now it's going to bugger off. Because that was necessary. I don't know. Right, second seal is open. Just one more to go. However, I'm going to leave this video there on that success because we've been doing this for quite long enough. So I think I will... I was just going to make this a one-off episode. I may just make this a two or possibly three part, depending on how long it takes me to complete the rest of the game. But uh, no, I think I'll, uh, I'll keep going with this. It's fun. I'll probably use this as a short series. I'll use it to replace Punch Club for the time being. Unless I get a demand to go back to Punch Club, because I've been looking at the viewing figures and nobody seems to be interested in watching Punch Club anymore. It's a bit of a pity. It is one of... Uh, the more enjoyable games to play, but apparently I'm just not translating that into very good viewing for the moment, but we will see. So, yes, two seals down, one to go. What else does the box, which is also called the room for some reason, have to show us? Uh, we will find out. Bye!